this episode, I will be doing another tour. And the tour that I'm going to be doing is of Anna and Crypt's joint build, I guess. I don't know if there's a name to it. If there is, then I don't know it. Um, but it's a fairly decent sized build. I know they have been working on this project for a long time now. And I don't even know where to start, truthfully, so I'm just going to make my way back here and start. What are you looking at, buddy? Uh, I'll start from back here, since this waterfall looks to be part of it, and if not, it at least fits with the theme, so. And of course now I'm going to start lagging. Alright, there we go. So we have a little waterfall here. The whole vibe of this is very just aesthetically pleasing and ASMR, you know, esque. So I, real quick, I'm going to turn off my toggle to sneak real quick because there we go. It's a lot difficult to do that when you are flying like that. So I'll turn the render distance down a bit for now.
this door. Oh, okay, so inside here. Actually, we'll save that. I'm gonna go check out the graveyard. This seriously just looks like a whole little mini village with how well it flows together. All oh, the anvils is a nice touch for the cross. I like that. Here, please, Ethan Wobbs, cause of death, no bitches. <laughs> Poor Ethan. <laughs> then, oh my god, Ethan, seriously, this is creative too. Using the lecterns inverted to make like an open casket. I love that. That looks so cool. I never even gave that a thought. Here, Lays, <laughs> Crypto Nerd, Death by Suffocate, Jesus. What you do to him, Anna? <laughs> the back of the tombstone here. And then, rest in peace, Mrs. Anna. May she giggle in heaven. Yeah, where did she go? She hasn't been on in a while. She was pretty active there for a while. Yeah, the cemetery is very nice. The candles, cobwebs, anvils, all really, really add to it. And then we have this structure here, because we're about to check out the inside of it, so I will do the outside real quick. The lampposts are really nice, too. All connects to the pathing, which is a very, I like this design here with the use of the, the stairs behind the um the dire is it diorite? Yeah, I think diorite's the right one. Which I generally do not like this at all. Like that material for building. But it works with this same thing with Ethan. Ethan made it work with this build. I've just never been too crazy about it personally, but I never liked any of the ites, and the site has grown on me a little bit. And granite for chimneys and some brick structures, but I still haven't really come around to the white one. We'll go in here first, which, okay, this is just a tower. There is a door right here for the bridge, though, so they may be adding to this in the future if I had to assume. I will probably do more than one tour on this as well as it progresses, so be on the lookout for that. Now inside of here is where we were before. We have some nice sitting areas right here with some books, some paintings, a bookshelf. I think Emma did this banner if I had to guess. Maybe. I feel like I saw that. I'm, I'm going to go on a limb. That was Emma. Could be wrong. We have the elevators here going up and down, which we will check out in a second. Got more books. We have like a little, uh, is this like the cashier area or something? Very, very cool. Should I go and check out the upstairs and downstairs? Yeah, let's do that. So we don't need to take the elevator because, whoa, whoa. There we go. We have the privilege of spectator mode. So up here, I believe this is to the bridge. Yeah, so this is where we were before coming through here. Then we can head inside, and this looks unfinished, which I, I know this place isn't finished. They're still working on it tediously, but they have definitely started on this here. Pool table. There you go. It's going to be a pool table there. <laughs> That is this structure. It is getting to be nighttime, which, you know what? I was gonna sleep, but I'll keep it for now. Let's head back down here and go to the docks. For no oh, well, what is this? Is this dried kelp? That's very creative. You don't see that used very often for building uh, material. Let's head inside and see what this is. It is a very small inside. Is it okay? I was gonna say, is it for like fish and stuff? And it looks to be that we got a couple of fish inside of here. Maybe the kelp is their food source, possibly. Keep going, and now we have the docks. So I'll do a little flyby of this to kind of check this out. We have a lone little boat right here, a nice 
nice little sailboat with the sea pickles and everything chilling there a nice little waterfall leading to the river and then we have a bigger boat right here i'm assuming nothing is in some oh no they even put stuff in here now that is attention to detail my ass would have just left it empty <laughs> and then you can cross this is the dock itself which leads straight to that boat and we have that one sailing over there and then we have another bigger boat so the small one is out we have a medium sized one and then the bigger one here which looks like we have some people on board oh this is part of the crew i think that's hannah i put no that's emma is that it why can i not think of people's skins right Why? I'm so stumped right now. I'm trying to think of skins. I can think of pre-skin. This is pretty easy to remember. Goose, I think I remember. Bacon, I remember. I, I'm i pretty... Sh I'm so stumped on who it is. It's Emma or Hannah, I feel. I don't know. But I truthfully don't know. <laughs> no, this is Emma. Right, so then this would be Hannah. Is this crypt then? Who is this? I'm trying to identify everyone. I'm sorry, I should know this, but I don't know for some reason. Uh, okay, so the next portion we will follow this path and we have a nice little map here showing the entire build so far. As you can already see there's so much done to it. Nice little tree with the beehive, even the little details like this, the trees with the beehives and the lanterns just kind of chilling. So once we get to this path, we have a nice little bridge here. I like the lampposts as well. They they fit very well with it. The little things too, like adding some of them as mossy stone brick walls. Really, again, attention to detail. Once you cross the bridge, you have this little structure here, which looks like some sort of mining building, but we'll head inside and see for sure. And it indeed is. So we got another right scrap on there. Some tools, some gold, coal, coal, gold, some furnaces with a fireplace underneath to add the smoking effect. Very nice. Again, attention to detail. Now I believe this is what is it, like a raw gold or iron block or something like that. It doesn't show up as nicely because for some reason these mini items <laughs> don't, uh, the texture for my faithful texture pack doesn't come in for some reason, so it looks more, uh, clunky than the rest, but, and then up here, you can see the top of this, so, nice little support beam going through the middle. That is the mining area right here. We have pretty much knocked out this side of the map, although we do have up there. But let's continue down this way first so we can follow the pathing. This, I think, is bigger. I'm going to save this for the last, so let's go down here. Oh, look at that. The cute little oak block. <laughs> the mini one there. I'm going to do this naturally to follow the pathing like this. If we come through, we have beware of snapping turtles. Oh, this is the turtle area then. You come up on the pathing. Oh, well, lag. No, thank you. More trees. We got a giant building over here, which I will check out in a bit, and another tower. So if we come down here, we have another dock, which we can kind of walk around on. This big. Alright, this is getting a little annoying. We have this big opened, opened, open pond area here for the turtles to swim. You look like you're stuck, buddy. <laughs> you are right there. I know there usually is a lot more whenever I poke in. Okay, there we go. There they are. Chilling here, laying their eggs for their breeding ground. Glowberries adding a nice touch as well. Oh, and we got some panda 
this over here too. We'll check those out in a second. The naturalness of this, uh, this like mountainside as well, the depth to it. Now you can kind of come underneath with the, the vines hanging down and this little overhang. The waterfall too, very nice. Alright, let's head back this way.
that's that beast of a building. <laughs> Which connects very nicely to all of this. I'm gonna bump this up a bit because I'm not able to kind of see to the extent that I want. There we go. Now I do need to check out this side, which I will probably do next, but I just... I'm gonna do a pan around of everything uh, once I explore a bit more of this, but for now... Let's see, I do need to go up here and check this out. I'm gonna go inside there later. I already did the tree, so I'll just kinda hit this... this little structure, which looks like a... Um, what do you call it? Like a water wheel thing, maybe? I'm not sure. Get the water streaming down there. Is there an inside to it? I don't think so. No. Well, that's a nice use of the, uh, is that basalt or whatever? I like it. It's very small, but it fits perfectly there in a nice little natural looking tree. Custom built one. To go along with the giant custom tree. later. I think that's basically it for this side, though, so let's head across the pond here. Well, the river, but I wanted to make a joke. It failed. Nothing up there for now. Now this, okay, I was gonna say this is going to be for the goats. Hannah told me earlier, but there are already indeed goats here. Oh, look at the baby. Oh my goodness, so cute. I just turned into a little I love animals, and this goat's adorable. He's so small, I didn't realize the babies were that much sm- Did I scare you? I'm sorry. Oh, I pissed off Mama Goat. <laughs> so they're chained up, I'm assuming, because maybe they can jump out. Why am I lacking? Whoa, 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 chill, chill, Minecraft. Okay. So this is indeed the goat sanctuary. They have posts set up around here, because I'm assuming gotta chain them up. Maybe it's because they can't jump out. I'm not quite sure why, but they've got food and water which they can reach, so no worries. I'm assuming those two made that guy right there, considering there's only three in here. And we can head over to this little section here, which is a nice quaint little barn. Which we have a donkey in here. Got his own section then a horse over here. This looks like a workstation somewhat. Got a saddle, some saddles. Got the composter filled up. Another workstation with some shears. A couple Whoa! I will leave you two to be No, no, go back, buddy. I'm sorry I interrupted you. You do you <laughs> And this guy over here, lonely, having to watch these two boink all the time out his window. Which is probably why he's got his face in the corner, because he's lonely. This guy needs a mate. Imagine sitting here being all alone day in and day out, and having to watch these two go down on each other. <laughs> Alright, let's clean it up a bit. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not safe for work here. Look, he's trying to get to the horse. He's like, don't worry, buddy, I got you. <laughs> we can be together. That's that part. I'm so getting off track. <laughs> I just want to check out the outside here. This is what I meant with the granite being able to blend into the brick fairly well. And then we have another barn right here. But we got this natural little path again with a nice little sitting area here. That's a beautiful view if you're just chilling right here eating some breakfast. Get the animal right there. You get this nice view of the landscape and this insane mountain and tree. Now this barn, I believe, is the same model that is at Hannah and I's little farm. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. At least the overhang is definitely the same. And actually, you know what? It looks a little different on the inside. So the interior is not the same. upper portion of here. The only thing that really reminded me was this overhang here. I know we have something similar to that, but even this looks a bit different now that I think about it. Got the backside of that, which you can leave through as well. 
this, did they make this, or is this like, oh, they had to have, oh, what is this gonna be, let's check this out, we'll go down here, I don't remember seeing this before, ah, uh, okay, oh, maybe not, maybe this is, I think actually, yeah, this might be one of the natural spawning igloos, I could be wrong, I've only ever seen, like, one in person, I just don't remember, Redstone. I don't know, I could be wrong. I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything over here. I don't think I am. So let's head to this section. Let me go back to the ship real quick and see if any of the interior of it has been done. What you call that the interior ships have interiors, right? <laughs> So this is not, I'd assume it wasn't going to be because I just saw him working on the outside, so. But there is a bottom to it, and it's looking like it is very spacious with a lot of potential, so. Very nice. And then over here is the rest, is this all, that's a massive waterfall. It looks very, very cool. So this is, I think, the village temple. I could be wrong, but I really, really liked the look of this. And I will check out the inside. Right meow. And down. Yes, this is their village hall. And it opens up. It looks so much bigger on the inside than the outside. So we got ender chests and barrels and lanterns and stuff posted around. Power, fire aspect, flame, sweeping edge, silk touch, sharpness, looting, infinity, fortune, mending, unbreaking, efficiency, thorns, depth strider, feather falling, protection, aqua affinity, armor, and a weaponsmith. I think that's just about everything you could possibly get. Respiration, impaling, loyalty. Riptide channeling, there may be more. There is some free spaces here, but for the most part, damn. Got the weapons to indicate, the, I believe this is storage for the emeralds. It's all very, very well organized and thought out. A lot of thought went into this one. And then you could exit and leave through the elevator shaft here. And you can walk up the stairs into this little section. Very nice. That was the main part of this side that I definitely wanted to show off. Oh, I love the tree growing inside of it, too. That's a very creative touch. And then this, I believe, is the breeding portion. Or no. Is this the breeder? I don't know how this works. It can be because there's no bed. So I think he just kind of gathers all of the, the carrots and stuff and puts them in here. I think that's how that works. I don't know. I don't understand automatic farms that well. So. Let's see if I can figure it out by going down. Well, we got a couple of villagers here, so maybe. It's definitely something. I just don't know what. <laughs> oh, maybe it is because there are the beds. So yeah, that might be the breeders and stuff. Maybe. Oh, does he gather the carrots and drop them down to feed them so they can multiply? Is that how that works? Maybe. And then this is where they can transfer them to give them professions and trade with them for emeralds and such. So you got that going on. just post it up. I'm not sure if they're going to be building something extra here or they're going to transfer stuff over there, but there's that. And then this is cactus, I believe. Yeah, a cactus, automatic cactus farm. So for composting and such, if I had to guess, and then there's more maps of the outlook of this. You get the ship, the docks, as well as the villager trading hall right there. So that is it for, oh no, what is 
this? Is there more up here? Or is this like the remains of a ruined temple? Yeah, I believe so. I could be wrong. Maybe they're doing something with that. So yeah, that is this side of the build. Now we are going to check out what I think is the best part, personally. Because I am a sucker for hobbit holes. I'll check out the dock here. I'm not sure what this is meant to be, though. We get the docks leading to the Uber ship. We can cut through here and go inside. We'll do a one last fly around of this, though, and kind of check out everything from above. There's more build potential right here as well. This place progresses more and more and more each time I check it out, and it is looking very, very nice so far. Major props to you, too. Yeah, this is dope. I got the graveyard over here, and we're back to where we started, pretty much. So, time for, in my opinion, like I said, the best part, and that is this little hobbit hole. Very small from the outside. Doesn't look like there's much to it. But wait until you head inside. We'll check out the outside real quick. You walk through the door and it opens up and we ain't even done yet, so. We get some ender chests, some enchanting tables, some parrots here. We get some dogs. This kind of looks like the kitchen area. We get some watermelon. Get the stoves running. <laughs> get the chickens here just lined up to be slaughtered and cooked. <laughs> uh, you get the fridge. And then we can come through here, and this is the bedroom here. We got the horns, we got the armor set up and everything. Nice little computer. Uh, I'm trying to guess whose room this would be. I don't know. I don't know if that's meant to be Oliver. This is a oh, it is Oliver. There he goes. This is Anders' room. <laughs> the bookshelf and everything. We'll see what it looks like from the bed. Oh, and who's this guy? Apollo. Do I know Apollo? I'm trying to think. I just know Oliver. I'm trying to think of who Apollo is. I may have seen pictures. Oh wait, is that your dog, Anna? You have a dog, right? Or am I losing it? So many people have pets in the server. I'm trying to figure it out. Ravioli. Romeo. I like that. Ravioli and Romeo. Fry. Seb. <laughs> and who are you? Name. <laughs> we have the Oxalotls here. Looks like they're trying to get out. They're all <laughs> going to the top. Thankfully, we can go in with them. Spectator privileges for the win. And then we got some more over here. For some reason, they're going to the top as well. Maybe it's one of those weird glitches. I know there was a time where all of the cows and stuff would huddle up in one corner no matter where you had them. I just want to get a good look at everything. Look at the clock past here. Come through this. Then we got the enchanting room here. The wither skull. Very creepy dungeony vibe to it with the blue lanterns. The enchanted boots, diamonds, all of that good stuff. Is this a little hot tub? Possibly, I believe so. And then this is the um, brewing station. You get your potions, your cobwebs, even some plants up there. This is kind of the uh, the creepy room, the dungeon. -y. You got enchanting, brewing, hot tub of bubbling. Now, this is my favorite part. If you head down these steps, I'm trying to do this naturally so you can see everything. I just gotta go, I feel air. We'll just do that. So you head down the steps. Oh my god. Okay. And then this is the first level. This is the giant storage and map room. They got everything laid out between the dirt, the pots hole, the natural stuff like mushrooms and grass and ferns, sand, gravel, glass, bricks, honey, sugar cane, bamboo, cactus, all of the mob drops, all the natural stuff, water, 
leather stuff, I mean, everything is set up for storage. Get the dragon head here with a nice skeleton set up, kind of the trophy area almost. Plenty of more storage to be put right here. We got some more good stuff here, and then a giant overall map so far of the layout. More storage, this is kind of your ores and whatnot. You got firework stuff, paper and all that, shulker stuff, honey, and then we have Anna and Crypt. Oh, okay, so that's Crypt's skin. So the one that we saw on the boat from earlier was Crypt. So it was Crypt, Anna, Emma, and I don't know who was on the other back side. <laughs> it's the only one I don't know. Diamonds, compass, I saw something was named. Unless I'm losing it, I swear I saw... Oh, cave spiders could eat my ass. Are all of these named then? I can do what I want. Have a good night of mine. Wait, do I need to go around and check all of these then? No, okay. Yeah, I do. Custom crypto marks. Hold on. Okay, no, I think it's just those ones. But yeah, so the massive storage room here. Mom, I threw up. <laughs> and then you can head down the ladder right here and go to the second level of storage. But you get a nice little pool table right here. More storage. Plenty of more storage. That's for damn sure. <laughs> What is this? One of those automatic, uh, yeah, like furnaces, kind of running back and forth to collect everything. And we have a sugarcane farm down here with more storage, I'm assuming, for the sugarcane. We'll check out this room in a bit. That's the best part. And then watermelons and pumpkins. If I, oh, oh, look at this. This is what I mean. I'm assuming this is watermelons, and they have the green shulkers for that. This is pumpkin and they got the- oh, come on, come on, even the variations, that's creative, I like that. Alright, now we have checked out that, can you go down any further? No, so this is the bottom. And so we are now approaching my favorite part of the build and the last part. Oh wait, what is this? Quite sure what this is. Is it like the uh, just the armor room, maybe? Oh, that's for them to sleep if they're AFK, possibly. If I had to guess. So we come through here, and now I can't flip this because I don't have access. But if you do flip this, it's a hidden door that opens up. And once you come inside, they have a prison, fully functional, which is really. D they even have an Enderman in here, which I don't think is meant to be, but that is cool. So we have the nether rack, nether rack, the nether scraps and stuff right here, the diamonds over here, and they have this fog effect using the glass every other block, that strategy that I used for my glass shop. And they also have functional prisoners, which <laughs> I actually watched them do this, at least attempt to do it live. I think they had a hard time getting them in here, but fully functioning prisoners with armor and everything. So we got Jerry over here, the zombie all decked out in diamond over here. We have, oh boy, <laughs> what is your name? I can't see it fully. Uh, oh my God, I can't see, I can't. I'm not something Hauser, Fenchtol, Geinstein Hauser. I don't know, Wolfstein, yeah, the big one there. Decked out in diamond. And then we head up here, and we got the big boy who's in trouble by himself. Fuck, fuck with rat goof. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the skeleton decked out in diamond. So this is my favorite part. I thought this was so dope. You even got the wither skeleton skulls perched up everywhere. You got different levels. Diamond and nether over here with the beacons. It's just so freaking cool. I might truthfully make this the thumbnail. It just depends. The outside is so good, though. I don't know if I can pass up that opportunity, but I'm trying to get it even just in case this
this has thumbnail potential. I'll have to figure it out, but that is my favorite part, and that is the build, guys. Give it up for Hannah and Crypt on this one. That was a long video, but if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and hit subscribe for more content like this. And if you are a returning subscriber,